I've spent a lot of time looking out of hotel windows, seeing the trees concave when that Colorado wind blows. I know the metro system inside out. Paris never changes. I know my way about. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my official last week in Paris. It's so crazy, but yeah, this is the last Monday that I will be spending in this city after three and a half months. And we are headed to Provence. So I don't know if you remember, but it, uh, Provence is like a city outside of Paris that we visited in like the first or second week of being here. And I haven't been back since. I'm super excited to go back, reminisce, and take you guys along. So see you there. everyone I hope I'm filming enough throughout like the when I'm out and about um just because it's so cold lately <laughs> like my hands literally freeze if I take them out of my pockets for like even a couple of seconds um so I it's been a lot harder to just like take out my camera and like film things but Hopefully it's been okay and you've been able to sort of come around Paris with me during this last week. Honestly, I don't even know what to say. Um, it's kind of hitting, you know, it's like I just saw my friend Gaia for the last time this semester um, and I met her like literally at orientation so i went to orientation at um my university that i'm going to in paris which is paris 8 like saint denis um university and we had like an international student orientation in september and i met her there we got each other's numbers and like have hung out ever since and i think we've seen each other probably every week for about two months or so or even maybe even longer so it's very very weird just to think that i won't see her for a while um luckily she's staying in paris and i think she might come visit me in london or i might visit her next semester but she's from italy and so it's kind of odd to think that after this year we don't really know we'll see each other next i don't know it's just getting me thinking a lot about 
beginnings and endings and how fast they come with you know the semester and things like that um and i think i feel this you know when i'm at princeton too it's just like the end of the semester comes so fast and each semester goes so fast but especially here um just because i know i won't be back like in this sort of situation um really ever i think it is feeling extra extra strange okay the lighting was a little weird so i'm back here but um yeah, I'm sure you guys have noticed this too if you've been here from the beginning of this Paris semester. Um, there was some, it was a rocky beginning, you know, a rocky start. Um, and it's funny now, I mean, yeah, it's just so funny watching back my videos from the very beginning where I was feeling stressed and just unsettled and unsure of how to adjust. And I think in many ways, I still feel the same way. It's not like, you know, Paris is super familiar to me or anything like that now, um, because obviously I've only been here for three months, but I definitely feel like so much more um, comfortable and uh, I don't want to say at home, <laughs> that would be a bit of a stretch, but like, I don't think I feel like this sense of like uncertainty and instability and just like, what am I doing all the time? Um, and I've just really begun to enjoy like every single day here, um, maybe starting about like a month or a month and a half ago. And so it feels like those memories will be really precious to me. And even from the beginning, it's like those are all learning curves, you know. I just don't know what is going to become of this semester in my life or like especially like the friends that I've made or um, the places that I've really got come to love in Paris and things like that. Like, I don't really know where they're gonna go, you know, in terms of the rest of my life because will I be back here? Who knows? Will I see my friends who live in different places um, across the world in the, in the US? Who knows? You know, like the, everything is very uncertain. Um, and in some ways that feels kind of scary and like, just a little like too and just also just very weird like just being very conscious of the fact that this is so impermanent but at the same time it feels kind of nice to become comfortable with this idea of like things will come in and out of my life maybe i'll come back to paris maybe i'll see these people again um even if not they were special because they were here with me and um yeah i, I just think that it's a really interesting way to sort of process being in a place and to have all these memories and love for a place that um, I'm not entirely connected to other than, you know, the fact that I chose to study abroad here. Um, I feel really grateful. Yeah. But enough of um, emo reflective hours because I actually have so much finals work to do as well as packing and all this other stuff. Um, first time in my life that, you know, finals and packing and last week being in a place have all co like coincided in one week. So um, I think I'm going to get started on one of my take home exams now. Um, other than that, I hope you all have been enjoying this vlog so far. Um, we have a lot of work to do, but um, in the next coming days, it'll be a little bit more like goodbye hangouts and meals with friends. Um, and then I think just hitting up some of my favorite, favorite spots in Paris one more time. And yeah, um, I don't know if I've said this already, but I'm leaving Sunday morning. So countdown four days holy shit oh my god anyways four days left until um i'm going back to sunny texas so wish me luck <laughs>
Good morning, everyone. Um, it is Thursday today and countdown three days until I'm going home and leaving Paris. Um, and yeah, I, yesterday I had two of my last finals, so I didn't really film anything just because it was a pretty busy, hectic day. Um, but other than that, we also went to watch the World Cup. Um, and as you probably know, France won um, versus Morocco, which is a little sad because I was definitely rooting for Morocco to get to the final, but that's okay, at least France is happy. And yeah, today I think we're just gonna have a really chill day. Um, I might go to a cafe and just read for a little bit. And then I have some last sort of meetings, meet up with friends, um, and my last dinner with my host mom as well. A lot of lasts. Um, and so I just kinda wanna take it uh, chill today because I had I have had a very hectic week of final exams and stuff. And then actually after I go home tonight, I have to pack all my things as well um, so that I can kind of free up Friday and Saturday to really just like say goodbye to Paris and enjoy the last sort of places I wanted to hit up and stuff like that. But yeah, I think right now we are going to head to a cafe and get some reading done before my last academic meeting with my program. Um, so let's go. Hi 
everyone. So just like with Korea this summer, I wanted to end this video um, with some film photos that I took over the semester um, that I got developed. I am really happy to say that I think um, just within a couple of months, I have found some really good photos and just have enjoyed it a lot more. While I do that, I just wanted to say thank you for coming along with me on this journey. Um, yeah, there are definitely some ups and downs throughout this semester, but it feels really good to say that, especially towards the end, I just felt like I had found such a nice footing and a nice sense of comfort that this experience has just given me so much confidence in my ability to be anywhere and find a home anywhere and you know put roots down anywhere which is a really incredible feeling um, and I'm so grateful to um, Princeton for making this possible and also for all the people in my life that I've met through this experience um, and I'm really excited to come back and visit Paris. These photos really captured just how, how the special moments from this semester so I'm really happy to have them as little souvenirs.